Hello, I'm Gideon Bletcher, urologist and member of the ISSM Communications Committee. We've recently had a question posted to the Q&A section of the ISSM website asking about echoes and what does that mean in relation to a penile Doppler ultrasound? So first of all, a penile Doppler ultrasound is a, an investigation used sometimes to get a better understanding of the anatomy or more relevantly, the blood supply of the penis when we're investigating somebody for erection difficulties. The way that these ultrasounds work is by emitting a very high frequency sound wave, which is then sensed as an echo as it bounces off the structures inside the penis. This is similar to how bats or uh, dolphins, for example, will use some form of a radar signal. Uh, they're, they're sending out high frequency sound waves and receiving them back and forming essentially an image uh, so that they can be guided as to where to fly or where to go. Same with the penile Doppler ultrasound. It's using uh, sound waves to form an image. Now that's what the echoes are referring to. It's that bounce back of the sound waves to form the picture. And what are we looking for in this picture? Really, we're looking at the, the arteries, which is the inflow to the penis. And we're also looking at the outflow, which is the veins. Uh, we can also assess the, the tissues of the penis as well and look for scarring and other issues. But for the most part, when we're talking about penile ultrasound for the purpose of erectile dysfunction, we're really mainly looking at the, 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 the inflow of blood as well as the outflow and ensuring that that is all healthy.